In this passage here, what we were just in, we're in Mark chapter 10. We're looking at this rich young man. And we're seeing how Jesus exposed uh, his assumption that he was good when in reality he was not good. Even though he believed that he was good, probably culturally because he was a rich man, he believed that his riches were a sign of his goodness. And we see from the testimony of scripture that that is simply not true. I don't want you to think that God does not bless his people with riches. God absolutely does that. But he doesn't do that because we are good. He does that because he is good. You get what I'm saying there? God gives good gifts to his children, and sometimes those gifts are material wealth because he is a loving God and he likes to bless us. It has nothing to do with us. It has nothing to do with us. And remember, even as he gives us those gifts, none of it is ours. None of it's ours. It all belongs to him. This man clearly does not understand that, sadly. So Jesus tells him, you got to keep the commandments. You know the commandments. Do not murder, do not commit adultery, do not steal, bear false witness, defraud, honor your father and mother. And the man said to him, verse 20, Teacher, all these I have kept from my youth. And Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said to him, You lack one thing. Go, sell all you have, and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. And then come, follow me. Verse 22, disheartened by the saying, the man went away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. Folks, let's start right away at verse 20. I hope you raise your eyebrows when you see the man saying, teacher, all these I have kept from my youth. He's again appealing to his own goodness thinking that's what's going to get him eternal life. Did this man really, perfectly and truly, 100%, every second of every day, keep the commandments of God from the days of his youth? The answer to that should be an obvious no. Why? Because he is a sinner. He's a sinner. And even if he was really good at keeping the commandments, Jesus already revealed his heart is corrupt. It's a resounding no. The standard of goodness is God's goodness, perfection, and none of us reaches it. So did he, teacher, all these I've kept from my youth? Not true. But notice Jesus' response, verse 21. Jesus, looking at him, loved him. The translation here would be he had compassion on him. He had a tender spirit towards him. He wanted to help this man. He didn't turn him away. He wanted to help him. He gave him the answer that the man was looking for. Simple answer. It was his compassion. He wanted to reveal the problem with this man's heart and then show him, here's the answer to your question. You lack one thing. Go sell all you have. Give to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven. And then come and follow me. Simple. In other words, Jesus is saying you need to break ties with your God, money, break away from that, and follow me. That's all Jesus is saying. 